hello and what is going on guys so today we are gonna be going and I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, what do you call this um, read files in C sharp so um, I'm gonna open up Visual Studio code um, Visual Studio right now because I use Visual Studio for C sharp I mean it's better in C for C sharp actually because if you're using when if you're creating WPF when um, UWPF or WinForms, um, it's it's much much more better if you use this. So I'm gonna use my sandbox. Sorry if the the cursor is tagging, so I'm using my drawing tablet as a mouse pad um, as a mouse. I'm gonna use my mouse or the, just the, 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 or right, okay, there we go. I'm using now my mouse. Okay, so um, I already created one, so I'm gonna show. Uh, I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete all of this thing and show you how. How they actually work. So, um, if you just want to do copy the code, just copy it. But I'm gonna delete it, so um, you know you you know how to use it. So over here at the top, um, we need to use um, we need to use system. Dot io. So system. Dot io has a stream reader class. So um, if we search in Google. Uh, stream reader or uh, documentation for stream reader um basically if you have something if you want to do something just search it online probably read the documentations for for that thing especially here in C sharp they have pretty good ex um, explanation also some what do you call this uh some uh, what is wait some some explanation or and examples as well. So, um, yeah, you can read all of this thing. So, but over here, I'm gonna do my own. So first of all, we need to create. Uh, we need to get the stream reader class. Create a new stream reader class instance. New instance of stream reader class. I'm gonna name it as reader. So equals new. Stream reader. Now, instead of this, we want to add the file path for the file you want to open. For this, in uh, for this video, I'll just create a basic text document. Um, I, I don't know where to put it. I'll just put it into my devs folder because uh, there you go. Text document. Uh, I think I'll just name it test test.txt now let's open it and edit or add some text um i think hello world and hi world is okay for me in two separate lines so hello world and hi world okay so we can now close that can now go back over here oh actually i didn't copy first of all copy the path so just click over here and copy the path but if if your file is in your desktop or some path over here in the quick access it will only show the name of it so i would um prefer if you add it into a folder like what i did over here i put it in my dev folder so i'm gonna copy the file path paste it over here and add test i think that's test.txt right yeah that's test.txt .txt now if we go into the documentation they create a while loop but they have a method inside of um, stream reader class called inside of the stream reader class called so okay so I'm gonna create a string first so I'm gonna name it as output so it's called read to end so call um, get our class oh, get our reader class it's sense of the stream reader class. I'm sorry, uh, and then type read to end. So you have an async one and read to end. So because this is just a a sim a simple synchronous programming, I'll just use read to end, not read async. Uh, read read to end async. So read to end. Just do that, and then console dot write line output. 
Now, if we run this, we should get output. We should not get an error, but it should also output it. But it would quit immediately because after th after this thing is executed, there's no code below it, so it will just quit. Now, to do to pass the code for to pass the code, I'll just add console dot um, read look read key. I mean read line this just means that we need to wait for the user to hit enter and then continue you, you, you can also use console.readline to get user inputs but into this day we're just using it to pass our code And it says hello world and hi world. So yep, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click a thumbs up, don't like, subscribe, and goodbye.